studies in the context of low protein diets, where total protein across the day is not optimal, animal protein is superior. It seems to be more anabolic, probably because of the amino acid makeup. Digestible, indispensable amino acid score. That tool was really developed for parts of the world where there is food insecurity. And you may be getting all of your protein from one or two sources. When you're under consuming protein, it's very hard to create an argument that plant protein is equal or superior to animal protein because the animal protein has a better amino acid complex. Luke Van Loon published a study and this study was funded by Beef Checkoff. So I don't necessarily think that that means this is a bad study, but the hypothesis was that animal protein should come out superior. That's why the industry would like to support it. What they found, and this was in elderly who and there is an anabolic resistance. If anyone is really going to benefit from animal protein over plant protein, maybe you don't see it in healthy middle-aged adults, but maybe it becomes more important as you get older. They had protein intake at 1.1 to 1.2 grams per kilogram. And they were using elderly, healthy adults that were active and looking at daily muscle protein synthesis rates and no significant difference between an omnivorous diet and a vegan diet, which challenged their group's hypothesis. Now, the gap is that's a nine to 10 day study. The next step is to take elderly and run like go for 10, 12 weeks, maybe 16 weeks and actually measure muscle size and function. So look at strength. You see in the nine to 10 days, no difference. What's the actual effect on health outcome that we care about? And in order to assess that, you need a longer study. It could be there's no difference in elderly at 1.1 to 1.2 grams per kilo. It could be that there is. 